I'm Sean and this is your two minute time out. Do you use a consult room for financial arrangements? If you do, I'm curious. Have you ever noticed what are the first couple things a patient does? When you take the bib off and they stand up in the chair and you're about to lead them into the consult room, what are the first things that you notice they do? Chances are the first thing they're going to do is look at their watch. The second thing they're going to do is grab their phone. Their focus is now on the appointment must be over, the bib is off. Where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? Let me see what my schedule says. What time am I supposed to pick up the kids? When do I have to be back at the office? When is that next call coming? Whatever it is that they're thinking, their focus is not on their dentistry. This is a big challenge because as you take the patient into the consult room, their focus is now gone. Now they're tapping the fingers, their fingers, thinking about all the things that they need to do, the places they need to be, and where it is that they need to go. So you're not in the best position to support the patient at the highest level for the treatment and the financial arrangement for that treatment that they need. What do you do about it? Eliminate the consult room. Leave the patient in patient mode. They're in the chair. They have the bib on. Their focus is now, I am still into the appointment. Now you can have the financial conversation right there, chair side, in the privacy of the operatory. That's going to support your patient. It's going to support your team. It's going to support your bottom line profitability and your overall vision. And that's what it is that I want for you. It's about happier clients, better results, making more money and enjoying the ride. I'm Sean and this has been your two minute timeout.